Hello guys, my name is Khan and in today's video we will be covering how you can add titles and captions into your Tableau graph. So before continuing further and before discussing titles and captions, I just like to briefly tell you guys that in this set of videos we will discuss uh, about that how you can make your graphs more attractive, more interactive in Tableau. And this is a kind of a third set of videos that I'm going to make related to Tableau. So before going forward and before uh, for this video, uh, I'll be using this US Census dataset that I, I mostly use uh, for many for my other um, Tableau videos before. So I will quickly go through this dataset for you guys. As it's a US Census dataset, it's, uh, it's a hypothetical data. So it have nothing to do with reality. I will be using this data for this video. So here in the first row, uh, we have some variables. Actually, this is the data that I will be importing into Tableau. And as you can see, I have country variable. There is only one country which I am considering USA. And then for each row, it's corresponding to unique state of USA. And then I have state, which is the short abbreviation region, with which region we have population and some other uh, stat, uh, some other information about each state of the USA. It's more like a demographic data. So I thought it's better to give you a quick overview before going towards this video. As I said, that this video will be about that how you can add titles and captions to your graphs in Tableau. So what I will do first, I have to reinitiate my Tableau. So as I said uh, before, the Tableau works in three steps. That uh, first, in order to make your dashboard, first what you need is you have to import your data set into Tableau. Then you have to create your visualization tabulations over that data. And then uh, you can share those visualizations in the form of dashboard with the end user or your audience. So the first step will be to import the data. As I said, as I have shown you guys the data that I have in the Excel format. So I will go to Microsoft Excel, US Census, I will open it up. And you can see that Tableau is giving us an overview about the data here. Same variables that I have shown you guys are uh, get imported into Tableau successfully. Now let's create a graph quickly. So suppose if I have country, I suppose if I want to create a graph on a map. So if I say I'm quick, sorry, Control Z. So if I drag this country variable over the details. And then as it's already, you can see there's a globe sign. It's mean that Tableau have automatically decided that it's a kind of a geographical variable. It contains some geographic information. And then you can also have state. You can either I can drag it below country. So you can see uh, uh, Tableau is able to successfully plot all the data points on a map. But suppose if I want to say, add more information, suppose if I want to say that these sizes of these points should be based on the population of that given state. So more the population will be, more will be the bigger size of that mark. As you can see now, it's a bit more informative. But currently the point to note here is that it's uh, here the title is sheet one, which is by default. But suppose if you want to change the title of this graph, it's very simple. What you will do, you will just double click it. Here it's writing down whatever is the sheet name, put it here. As you can see that our sheet name is uh, sheet one. So let's see if I close it instead of doing any change. If I come here, rename it and it rename it to GeoMap. So you can see the map title will become, uh, sorry, the graph title will become GeoMap. But suppose I don't want to associate my sheet name with my graph title. You can do that too. I will double click it and I will remove this syntax. And I will write down like uh, GeoMap related to USA population. So now it have nothing to do with sheet name. Okay. 
So now you can see with the, uh, the title got changed. It's different than the sheet name we have. So suppose you can further do some formatting to this title by double clicking it again. Suppose if I want to make it a bigger size, first you have to select it. You can increase the font size. There are different uh, fonts available. So suppose tab blue home, sorry, tab blue regular. And then I can also put it bold, italic, and underline all options together too. You can play around with your based on your own needs. I can make it dark blue. I can align it into the center and I can apply. So now you can see that the title looks more attractive uh, compared to before. You can edit it, you can reformat it. Again, there is another very important thing that I like to discuss. If I, if I double click it, you can see here is an insert option. Insert option allows you to add further information to your title. Uh, I will go through some options with you guys. So suppose within the title you also guys want to show that what is the data source name as I shown you that my data source is US Census the name is US Census so if you want to also tell the user that this graph is based on which data source you can even tell it by using this insert option uh, I will say data source name and suppose if I want to show the data source name in a one line in a separate line I will just click enter suppose if i also want to show currently i'm in a book one so i can even show the workbook name uh, again i want to show it in a separate line and there are many other options available uh, like uh, what is the sum of population things like that so i will discuss this when i will be discussing the caption so i will say okay now you can say it's saying that uh, this data is coming from the sheet one uh, US Census book one and you and then finally the title of the graph. Again, one more thing uh, I, I will show. So if I double click it, if I here, so suppose if I want to write down data source, you can write down the data source name. So it will be more easier to comprehend what does it sheet one US Census mean. So you can further add the information. It will not give you an error apply. So, okay. So here you can see that now we have added the title uh, to our graph. In the same way, we can add the caption to our graph too. When you uh, make a graph, the Tableau automatically create a caption behind it, but sometimes it's not shown or it's, uh, it's some, mostly it's hidden. So in order to sh uh, see the caption, what you have to do, you have to go to the worksheet and then you have to say show caption. So now uh, based on the, uh, the things that we have done to this graph, there is a already some built-in caption that Tableau have created for us. It's saying that map is based on uh, uh, longitude and latitude, size shown on the uh, base based on the sum of population, details are shown from country at uh, for country and state level data points but suppose if you want to change it again you can double click it and uh, suppose if i want to format it uh, so i want it a bigger format suppose 15 i want it bold i can again use different font styles or regular i can give it a different color so view again and i can align it in the center again here I can further put different options, insert options too. Uh, so suppose if I say insert, and then I use, I want to see a sum of population. This is a very useful. So if I say sum of population, apply. So here, okay. so now you can see we have a caption here, and. Where we have added the sum of population, it's showing us that the population is varying from this number to this number uh, for from the minimum state to the maximum state. And you can play around with this insert option according to your need in caption or in your title. So the other thing that I like to show when you will hover around this title and caption option, you can see that there is a down arrow button. This down arrow button allows you further options. So first thing is if I click it, 
there's a dead title it will take me back to uh, the window which we can also get by simply double clicking the title so we have gone through it before there is a reset option if suppose if you are not happy with the changes you have done and you want to put it back uh, to uh, default you can use this set reset option uh, i'm not using it right now so i will again if i go to this down arrow uh, I have this high title option and then there is a very important option related to format title So once I click format title it can allow me to format both title and caption So we can do the formatting it allows is related to shading and borders So suppose if I want to have shade uh, Like very light color So suppose if I want to click this as you can see that this title get filled with this color and now if I go to borders, uh, I can select different borders. So these are the three by default borders I can select. Uh, suppose if I select this one, but here you can see the option, it can allow you to uh, select the size of that border. So suppose if I want very thick, and suppose if I also want to decide the color, suppose you want it black, uh, you can do it. If I go back, I suppose if I want to do the same things with the captions too, I will go back and select the uh, shading and then I will select the borders. In thick border in black color. So now it seems that while adding uh, both the, uh, the title and the caption, the graph looks more attractive. Now let's see, there's one more thing to cover that. So once I will add this graph to my dashboard, which I can add from here, you can see there is an option new dashboard. So under the new dashboard, I have this graph. I will drag it into the right hand side. So now we have dra uh, this dashboard. So, but suppose if I want to change the dimension of this dashboard, I can easily go here. Under the dashboard, there is a size option. And I can increase the width according to my... Uh, and I can... And I also can increase the height, decrease a little bit. So we can play around with this thing more. But here, the point to note here is that uh, we are able to see caption here. Again, in order to see the caption in our dashboard, what you have to do is you have to click this graph, then you have to go to worksheet, and then you have to again uh, select the option show caption. So now you can see we have the caption too here in our dashboard. So in this video, we, will, we have covered that how you can uh, add title, how you can add caption, how you can use that graph into a dashboard too if you like i will quickly go through another graph uh, in which i will show you that how you can add title and caption a bit in a quick way so i have a region variable here i'll put it in columns so suppose if i want to see the marriages uh, variable across each region as we have four as we have four regions as you can see it here so now if i want to add a, a title uh, I can easily add it. So, all that I will say marriage sum of marriage in each region, sum of marriage in each region. And then I can play around with this font, bold, italic. You can do it according to your own need. Do, and then I can add the data source name. So, control Z. Insert data source name. And that's all. I can align it in the center. Apply. And then if I want to do some formatting I can so formatting I can do some shading and then I can also apply the border so I want to apply this border this time dark black 
And in the same way, you can, if I go back to my worksheet and I say show the captions too, here we have the caption. We can also play around with the formatting. We can restyle it. You can rewrite. So suppose here, if I click double click it, I don't want to uh, show this thing, which is by default written. I'll say, uh, you can write down anything, not that we are only considering US history. And then again, control A, increase the form size, apply. Okay. So, so in this video, finally, we have uh, discussed how you can add titles and how you can add captions, how you can format it. Once you import that graph into a dashboard, sometimes you have to, uh, you may not see the caption option. So in order to do that, you have to go again to the worksheet and you have to say show caption. So in this video, we have covered both the titles and the caption. Uh, I will see you guys in the next.